Hi guys, it's Chewy here, and uh, today's vlog is for September's SGA challenge um, to show what uh, I do for my channel and such. Um, so it's just a little bit about myself and what I'll be doing for um, my YouTube channel. To explain a little bit about myself, I don't do very much with my life, to be perfectly honest with you. Pretty boring stuff that I do around here. I'm I'm I don't do anything exciting. Um, Scotland, even Edinburgh. As much as people like to like come here and go and be as like you know tourists and stuff, it's kind of boring here when you actually have lived here for over twenty years. But um, I just, tr for this channel, I try to show as much as I can with what I do and the things that surround me in Edinburgh. To start off, a lot of my friends know that I do like to draw and I've told them a bit about my background of um, how I started first watching anime and um, reading manga and all that stuff. So my interest for anime grew stronger as each year went by and I always liked drawing back when I was really young so as soon as I discovered anime it, it just went from there I suppose. <laughs> Not that I do much with drawings but um, and then as soon as I discovered anime, I was about 10 years old, courtesy of my brother. Um, my love for drawing grew stronger and I always liked cartoons so anime was a, new, a completely new discovery and really enjoyed them and I thought I'd like to draw like that one day. But as time went by, I started to forget what it was like to draw for fun and um, so many different things happened in my life that you know I kind of forgot about drawing anime kind of things and that, that kind of stuff um, but gradually I think for the past two or three years I, um, I picked it up again started drawing anime characters from screenshots from anime series and um, I'm, I'm actually really glad that I did. I really enjoyed it and it really picked up from there, I have to say. <laughs> uh, a bit about myself, I am not an outgoing person. Um, even my friends online and that I finally met in person, they know that I'm quite... I'm not that talkative. I'm only talkative to people that I know really well, but even then, there will be times where I'm like silent. <laughs> I listen most of the time as I've grown up to be more of a listener than a talker. Um, and I've always been shy to new people. I'm never the one to initiate conversation first if to strangers because I can't I cannot cope with doing that for some reason. Um, even now recording this I stumble over my words, I don't look at the camera. I try to look at the camera but it's so hard to actually look at the camera. Uh, it's hard for me to make eye contact with people. Even with people I know like, I can hold a bit of contact, but not for a long period of time. And I, I've always kept my head down, looking at the floor and stuff like that. Um, it's how I've grown up to be ever since I was young. Um, and I've, I, I'm, I've never been photo, photo shy, camera shy as such. But when it comes to video recording, it is a bit different. I don't know how to explain it, but even just doing this, it's a bit nerve-wracking for me, even though 
like I can edit it and redo things or things like that, but I always lose track of how I rant, even like now. So I should stop here. <laughs> but even though I'm shy, I'm not a very active, outgoing person, I like to draw in my own comfort to express like how I feel or um, how I want someone to like if someone is feeling down I would try and cheer them up with a drawing of sorts um, like my friends they've been having like low times and stuff for as long as I've known them now probably just over a year now year and a half maybe um, and I always try to like draw little silly things for them or like a character I try to base around them, anime style, and make them like wear costumes or a little bit of what they like or um, people that they like or thing animes that they like or like animals that they like. Things that would cheer them up would make me happy. Hopefully that I can brighten up their day just even the just a little bit, just from what I can draw. Even though my drawings aren't that good at all, I've still not found my own drawing style yet. I'm still trying to look for it, but hopefully if I keep drawing it will, it will get better, hopefully. And I used to do some writing as well, but not so much now. I'm more, I read. Okay, I admit that I write fan fiction. Not. I admit I have read the bad stuff, but there's also the good stuff too. You just have to really look for it and not, just not assume that all fan fictions are all smutty, lemony, high sexual tension kind of writing. There are a lot of things where it's literally like a romance novel, but not so bad. Yeah, that, that's the word. Bad. Bad. Yeah. Anyway, leading on from that, um, a lot of people don't know about this except from people at home that I am very indecisive with what I do. Uh, like, I work with my family. I stay at home most of the daytime, I hardly go out, and I've, I've flunked college twice and wasted up all my free years of education because Scotland gets free education after you've finished high school for four years for a college or university. <laughs> Talk about privileges. Um, but I wasted that and just because I never knew what I wanted to do. But for uh, two months ago, I finally realised uh, one of my dreams that I had as a kid of what I wanted to do. You know how people want to be an astronaut, or a teacher, or a vet, or a doctor, or a lawyer. There were also times like that, I suppose, for every kid. They have like ten different jobs they want to do for the future. and. I realised what my one of my dreams was actually to do with anime. Ever since I fell in love with the first anime series that I watched, um, I felt like I just felt really drawn to it. Completely fell in love with it. Started watching more anime series. Started to get to know manga and. Something in me stirred, saying, I want to do this when I'm older. I want to do something like this as my career. And I was, I was 10 years old, or 11 years old, 10 or 11 years old, when that happened. So, and during high school, I completely forgot about it because different life happenings and all. And... I'm glad I remembered it now rather than later because a lot of people say, oh you have enough time to think of what you want to do back when I was 16, then 17, then 18, so on and so forth. Now that I'm 22, people people are like, 
So what are you wanting to do with your life? You don't want to be a waitress all your life and have all these back problems and such for the rest of your life. And I'm like, no, that's true. I don't want to be a waitress or work in a restaurant for my entire life. And I'm, yeah, I'm glad that I've come to the realization that it's animation that I want to do. Some writing to make up a story plot and animation. I just want to know how it works. Like, I've seen some things about it, like, from different people. And it's like, I want to do that one. I want to, I want to do that kind of thing. So hopefully I can get into education for animation. Maybe next year, because the school school year's already started, so it's too late for me. And I don't know what's required of me to get into college again for a completely different course. So what I want to do for this channel in the future, hopefully, is that I would like to do my own kind of animation sketches of sorts. I mean, I would think, I would say that I've been inspired by Domix. Um, he is an animator of his own right, with his own little stories and things about himself. And I always really liked his style um, when it came to doing the animations. So I guess that's one way of what inspired me about. Uh, what I want to do for my future and I would like to not do the exact same thing but something with animation for my YouTube channel would be some sort of sketches of my own so that's that's what I want to do for this channel eventually <laughs> anyway I just want to make this video today just to let everyone know that um, if you don't want to put yourself out there, you don't have to. If you feel if you need if you feel the need to be confident and amazing and outgoing for your YouTube channel or personality or being in a crowd or things like that. If you don't feel that's who you think you can be, then you don't have to. If you're confident with yourself, like if you were already like confident with yourself, able to do this and that and so on, then that's perfectly fine. Good for you. But if you're like me, that's, that doesn't like to be in the spotlight, having atten like having attention or things like that, then that is also okay because everyone is different. And a lot of people say, you know, the saying, like, not everyone's perfect. That's true, but you can also put in the way that everyone's perfect in their own little way. Because no two people or more are the exact same. Sure, you'll have things in common with other people or similar personalities, but you're not the exact same. Everyone is unique in their own way, and that's how perfect you can be. I would also like to thank my friends for helping me with um, things for the past um, one and a half years as, as such, or two years, something like that. Um, or else I wouldn't be doing this kind of thing, or even remembered that I wanted to do animation as a career. And I cannot thank them enough for how much they've helped me and how much I love them with all my heart. They mean the world to me. Like, just like a close family. <laughs> and I'm crying. They just helped me through so much. Oh my god, if they're watching this, I hope they don't cry too. <laughs> I hope this vlog wasn't that much of a bore. It's, it's a little bit on the plain side, I know. 
but um, I just wanted to get my feelings across. I've not done that since last year with like a couple of vlogs, like Wrestling Appreciation Week and things to my friends. So I've not really had this heartfelt, not conversation, heartfelt recording session for probably about a year now, so I just want to say thank you for watching. Please check out other SGA uh, members' YouTube channels and September's SGA challenge videos as well. It would mean a lot to them. And I hope you enjoyed this little recording session <laughs> and um, I will see you next time.